After the big story that we are tracking on Beyond this hour, where the United States and the Philippine military will be conducting a joint two-week military exercise from Monday as part of their annual training. Now, the announcement came after defense secretaries of the two nations held a phone call, and the leaders reportedly discussed the drills as well as the situation in South China Sea. The exercises are taking place amidst rising tensions over China's increasingly aggressive behavior in the South China Sea. Now, the exercise was cancelled last year due to the coronavirus pandemic and forces participating in the drills will be subject to the COVID-19 health protocols and guidelines. Unlike the previous exercises, however, this year's drill will be scaled down and only about 1,700 troops, 700 from the United States and about 1,000 from the Philippines will be participating. The previous exercises had involved as many as about 7,600 soldiers. The tensions between China and the Philippines have been escalating. Their recent confrontation was about Chinese vessels in the South China Sea. The Philippines has protested against the presence of the boats inside its exclusive economic zone and it has repeatedly asked for China to move the vessels away. The China has said that the fishing boats were just sheltering from the rough seas and no military forces were on board. However, Philippines insist that the Chinese vessels continue to be in the region even after the weather had improved. An international tribunal has invalidated China's claim to 90% of the South China Sea in 2016, but Beijing does not recognize the ruling. And China claims that almost the entirety of the resource-rich South China Sea actually is Chinese. The China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia and Brunei claim the Sprafi Islands and its surrounding waters. China, Taiwan and Vietnam claim all of the Parcel Islands in the north of the South China Sea.